This is Aaron and Lando. I'm Lando, by the way. Uh, presentation on our orange widget. Yay! All right. Well, this is our second time going through it because audio didn't capture it the first time, but let's get on it. Okay. So, first, we designed a new widget for orange, and the main goal of this widget will be to take a FASTA file, as you can see here, header, followed by sequence, and these are used for genetic data, protein data, anything that has a bunch of A's, G's, or co or SNPs, anything you want, uh, can be loaded into a FASTA file. And we're going to be changing this FASTA file into a tab file, which looks like this. And it's separated by a tab, a uh, little separator right there. And this is our sequence, and uh, or it used to be our header, and that's what we got going on. All right. So next off, we I am going to show you our widget that we designed ourselves and placed into Orange. Uh, Orange doesn't have a FASTA converter, and we figured, why not add one? And that's what we've done. So here's our FASTA file widget, which acts as a FASTA converter, where we load into Orange our FASTA file, which you must change to look for all files. We haven't changed that in Orange, and because they'll just search for tab files originally, but we change that. Enter a FASTA file, reload it, make sure it's got it. Next, we go to data table, and we can see our beautiful FASTA file and its tab delimited format. Amazing, right? Computers, how do they work? So next, we got our orange widget code, which is basically just the file widget code, except modified. You know, like how you change a car, add some engine parts, you know. So basically, what to, to, to do this new widget, it wasn't very hard. All we had to do was, let me just check how much time I got left. Okay. Uh, we changed the header. Made it, instead of file, just FASTA file. We changed the description, said what it did, changed the logo, and changed the priority. So, you got to make sure all the uh, files that you put into this widget are changed. And so, we also had to change, for example, well, we inserted this um, convert FASTA text function. We also inserted our OW FASTA file which used to be just OW file widget, it has to have the same name as the uh, file, or as the widget, or as the file name, as you can see here. And this will get called way down at the bottom with this call. And this call is pretty essential. Um, you need, for most widgets, I think you need to have this and this. And the only part we really need to modify down here was this, which was OW file. We just put the FOSTA there because our class name is different and our file name is different. So those are just some basics. Any programmer could probably figure it out on their own, but they are important for the more novice programmers, such as myself and others. Um, next, we are going to take a quick look at some code we just added, which is pretty basic. And I guess we could say it's our most important p function within this new file, within this new uh, widget. So we got the FOSTA check function, which if uh, .fa is in the file name, we return true, and if not, it's false. So if it's a FOSTA file or a .fa file, it'll return true, and that'll be carried out later on in the code. So the way this widget works is because instead of it just going through, um, instead of making our own widget that convert FOSTA files, we decided it would be much easier, more practical, and less labor-inducive in terms of learning Orange programming, so that we just modify an existing uh, file entry widget. And that's pretty much what we've done. Um, Aaron will be back to explain this further. Uh, that's all I can think about to talk to you about now, so I'm going to pause our video, and Aaron will be back soon. Hello, this is Aaron Olinger ta taking over for part two. I am going to be walking you through the actual code of the file with file FASTA 
FASTA file. It's gone through a lot of different names. Um, so first off, Lando explained our FASTA file check, which isn't really optimal, but it worked for testing. Uh, later on, we're going to be using something more like this, which will actually use a regular expression to check the extension rather than just seeing if it appears somewhere in the file name. Uh, but that's not the main point of the widget. The main point of the widget is to uh, convert one file to another, and this is how it does it. Um, this part here is not how it does it. This is for future experimentation to try to like make this more universal rather than just doing FASTA. But for now, um, FASTA check is right here, and this convert FASTA text file is the main sort of the, the main bulk of the code for our version of this widget. What it does is it opens the file that you have in your FASTA format and it uh, takes as a string and it finds the elements in that string that it needs to put into the, FASTA, the new file like the, the header uh, which one is it? It is this one. So it'll find this bit and just take this bit without the arrow in the space and it'll find this bit and just take this bit without the arrow in the space. Oh, that's where the space is coming from. Okay, I need to do a bit of recoding. And then it'll take the body and um, put the body in and eventually you'll just get this where it takes the head and the body, the head and the body and before it does that, it'll add this description sequence data for the attribute names. All right, so you may be asking yourself, though it might be kind of unlikely, why, Aaron, do you make us convert this into a new file and take up file space? And, ah, uh, you're putting files in our directories. Why are you doing that? Uh, well, there's a good reason for that, actually, because the way orange is set up, this example table function goes directly from the uh, file name to uh, a example table. There's no in between, and this example table, as far as we know, is coded in um, compiled C. Uh, well, it's not coded in compiled C. It is just compiled C. So we can't do anything to modify it, nor should we do anything to modify it. So our only option, really, is to change the file name uh, and change the, the the actual file that it's taking from something that it can use to something that it can use. So what this does here is it creates a new file with our correct extension. Um, so before you'll have an extension like FASTA or .fa, and then after this you'll have a file of the same name with an extension .fa, and then here you change your file name variable to um, whatever your file name is dot text instead of dot fa and dot text just seems to mesh better with um, orange than dot tab does uh, not entirely sure why but we think it has something to do with the way domains and uh, attri class attributes are laid out in tab format which did we don't have them uh, we don't have class attributes here at least not intentionally um, so that is that um, so in summary, we have this FOSTA file, which you just load in your FOSTA files, and it will automatically convert them to tab format. You don't have to worry about anything. Or you may have to worry about some things, but not related to FOSTA files being converted. Or if you have any uh, problems, contact us. Oh, y yes. If you have any problems, contact us, apparently. And I will tell you where the Git code is. The Git code is located not on Wikipedia, but at GitHub. Uh, GitHub slash one with... Woo! Okay. GitHub slash one with force slash orange FOSTA uh, is the newest version of it, which I haven't updated in a while, so I should get on that. And I will let you get to whatever you're doing. So live long and program. <laughs>